Electrospray Ionization or ESI. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? Electrospray ionization is a technique which allows us to ionize a sample. That is to say, to turn our sample into charged ions. In the case of ESI, a high voltage is applied to a liquid producing an aerosol, which can be used in a number of chromatography techniques. Normally, ionizing by molecules is difficult due to their fragile nature. Electrospray ionization can successfully bypass this effectively, increasing the mass range of, for instance, the mass spectrometer of magnitudes up to kilodaltons or even megadaltons. In a nutshell, Electrospray ionization works by applying a high voltage to the outlet of a capillary, atomizing the particles into tiny charged droplets as they exit it. As the solvent evaporates, this charged intensity exerted on the droplets increases further, eventually causing them to split into charged ions, which creates a gas phase ion. Let us take a closer look at how this process works. So this electrospray ionization process can be thought of in three distinct steps. First, we have droplet formation, during which the sample solution is ejected from the capillary and exposed to a high voltage electric field, forcing the sample to form small charged droplets. Second, we have desolvation, during which these charged droplets are evaporated by a countercurrent of heated gas, further decreasing their diameter and as a result increasing their surface charge density. When this charge becomes too great, the column repulsive forces within them exceeds the surface tension and this causes them to undergo fission, or in other words, divide into even smaller charge droplets. This leads us into the third and final step, which is the gas phase ion formation. Because at this point, these tiny charged droplets have reached the nanometer level, effectively turning them into a gas phase ion. There are both advantages and disadvantages with electrospray ionization. The main advantage of ESI is that it provides a relatively simple way to ionize non-volatile solutions both for inorganic substances as well as biomacromolecules. In addition, if ESI is utilized together with MS or mass spectrometry, Compounds with high molecular weight usually have multiple charges, meaning that the distribution of these charge states provide both accurate molecular mass information in addition to structural information. ESI can also provide multiple ionization modes, both positive as well as negative. The disadvantages of ESI include experimental parameters and technical conditions must be carefully selected. There is also a limit to the choice of solvent and the range of solutions that can be used. Mass spectrometers, on the other hand, differ widely in the response to different complexes, preventing quantitative analysis. Since solution parameters control the spray process, there is fluctuation in the ion signal, even under good conditions. Electrospray ionization is indeed useful due to how it solves the problem of high polarity, ionization of thermally unstable proteins, and the determination of the molecular mass of macromolecular organisms. ESI can be applied to analyze peptides and proteins. Going even smaller than that, it can also be used on nucleotides. And if we go even smaller than that, it can also be used on the molecular mass of ions. So there you have it, electrospray ionization. Hopefully that gives you a nice introduction to the subject. If you found this video helpful, please take a second to share it with someone that could benefit as well. I have also left a video where I talk about Malditov, which uses another version of preparation used in mass spectrometry. This is called MALDI or matrix assisted laser desorption ionization. So that is sort of the twin to this electrospray ionization. So if that sounds interesting, please check that out by clicking the video on the screen now. With that, until next time guys.